It's an update that happens every eight years. In many classrooms, students are working through short, narrow questions all the time. They're not engaged, they're not interested. Stanford University professor of education, Joe Bowler, is writing the new mathematics framework. The social justice angle is one that has been blown up. Um, it's not a huge part of what we're recommending, but what we're saying is, of course, mathematics can be used to highlight um, issues in the world. The wage gap, for example, could be a math problem. Women earn only 82% of men's wages for the same work. Right. Numbers are racist. Kill them. It's lunacy. 900 California employees working in the math and science sector penned an open letter opposing the framework for several reasons. One stating it punishes higher achieving students by limiting gifted courses. I spent an hour trying to call people who signed the letter. I know they got a lot of pressure to sign that letter and actually most STEM departments in California, most of the people did not sign it. She said the framework does the exact opposite. People think that what we're saying is if you're high achieving, you now have to do the exact same work as students who are lower achieving and we're not saying that at all. We're saying let's open up these pathways so more kids are able to get into get to higher levels. So she says instead of testing students as early as fourth grade to determine a math path for them through high school, she said at the very least districts should push the test back to eighth grade. Unfortunately, once we decide you're on the lower level path, there's no turning back. Now, Bowler is now revising the framework before another draft is released to the public in January. It will then go to the State Board of Education before being approved around May.